In today's how-to video, we're going to cover how to connect two ropes to each other. We'll start with the most simple knot to connect two ropes, and that is the sheet bend. So the sheet bend is just a bowline. So what you do is you have the loop, just like if it's a bowline, and this guy's going to pass through. And then you're simply going to slip it through that part there. And we pull it tight. There it is. And these two knots, these two ropes are now connected to each other and they're tied. Now, the problem with this one is it can come untied pretty easily because it's really just a bowline if you look at it. And if it comes untied, they're separated. So a stronger but also permanent knot is called the double sheet bend, where instead of one loop, you do two. And then you come back and you go through there. When you tighten this one down, it's done. It's not going anywhere. And this is a permanent knot. Now it's important that when you tie this one, you actually want these two lines together forever because they are after you tighten it down. With Dyneema though, it's pretty slippery and you can usually open it back up. What about simply attaching two lines together with two bowlines? So the idea is simple. You have a bowline in one, so now you have a loop. And then you tie the other one with a bowline. So now, technically, you have the two lines tied together. So why shouldn't you do this? It seems easy enough. I mean, if you're a boater and a sailor, you probably know how to tie a bowline. So this would work. The problem is these two lines, where they're tied together, they're going to move on each other, they're going to rub, and they're going to chafe. And when they chafe, what's going to happen is it's actually going to saw through it, and then they come apart. So this is actually a really bad idea if you're tying something that's important. That's why tying the actual sheet bend, which is the same as a bowline, is a better idea because there's no chafing happening, because everything's attached to each other. Here's another option. It's called the fisherman knot. So a regular fisherman knot, like a double fisherman, is you take your hand and you wrap around your thumb twice and you're gonna pass this line back through the loop and it makes a nifty little stop knot now where this gets really cool is when you use two lines with it and to take it apart you simply pull on it and it will open it might need a little coaxing after a lot of heavy loading but it'll happen so to attach two lines together you simply hold them like that and then you tie a fisherman knot, but you have the other one through there with it. So here's a fisherman knot, but it's got this other line running through it. Now, the line can simply slip out, but that's where the trick comes in. You tie a second fisherman knot. Now you have the two fisherman knots, and they will not separate. So the harder you pull, the tighter it gets, and the interface between them is a very large area that's pretty much just a big flat disc. So this is a very safe and very secure way to attach the two knots, or attach the two lines. So this is a really good way to attach two knots, and it's a very safe and secure way that's also easy to untie. So if you had to rank them, I'd say the first one would be the sheet bend for ease, but not so strong. Then you have the double sheet bend, which is also easy and very strong, but it's not coming untied. And then lastly, you have this guy that's not the easiest to tie, but it's the strongest when you put it together, and it's the easiest to untie of the really strong ones. So all you're going to do is pull it apart, and then pull it apart. Now, the last one that we'll go over of this is called the Acres Bend. Now, the Acres Bend is pretty interesting. Its main use is if you need to make two, if you need to make a knot where the ropes come together and the tails come out 90 degrees to it. 
So if you're trying to like knit a fence, this is a great knot. So all you do is you make a loop and you have the line pass back over and this one's going to be the mirror image. So it's going to go and pass under and the tail goes up where the top one, the tail goes down. So this is very easy to tie. It's just a little confusing when you first look at it all. So this one's going to loop over and then come back through the whole assembly and come out. And this one's going to go from under and go back down and come out. So when you tighten it up, you get this. Now this is a very, very strong knot that is easy to untie after it's been loaded and the tails will always come out perpendicular to it. So its main purpose is if you need it to come out at a bend. Now the reason that these are all called bend knots, if you notice, the line comes in and comes out with a bend to it. So that is the acres bend. But what if you're connecting two ropes that are very different sizes? So over here we have a Dyneema grommet. So this uses a Mobius Brummel splice to make a ring. So it's a ring of rope and they're very strong. And this is actually what we use for our dead eyes that actually hold up our entire standing rigging. So this very unassuming loop of rope can actually hold 34,000 pounds. So it's pretty powerful. And this rope is tiny. Say you need to connect them. What are your options? The best one for this situation would be a sheet bend because it loops through and pops out the other side. Now with a sheet bend you always want to have the big one be just the bend, just the loop here, and the smaller line be the one that runs through. Now you can see this is going to hold because the more I pull the more it pulls on that part. If I need it to be more secure just make it a double sheet bend. And the more it pulls, the tighter it gets, and the more secure it is. So with that, we went over a bunch of different options for how to attach two different ropes to each other, if they're the same size or different sizes. So remember, the sheet bend is the easiest to tie, and it's pretty much a bowline tied with two ropes instead of one. If you need it stronger, you can do the double sheet bend, if you want it really strong but also easy to untie afterwards, do the double fisherman's knot. And if you want a pretty knot that is also easy to untie but a little tricky to tie until you get the hang of it, you can do the acres bend. And lastly, if you're attaching two ropes that are of very different sizes, do a sheet bend or a double sheet bend. Now it's really important that when you're working with ropes you know what material and what size they are because if they're different materials they can have different properties for example three lay is a lot stiffer and holds knots a lot better than something like Dyneema which is really slippery the second factor that comes into play is size are you connecting a huge rope like this giant Dyneema grommet we have to a really thin little piece of Dyneema if you're connecting ropes that are different sizes different knots work better than if you're connecting ropes that are the same size. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and message us directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.